Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Intermediate Minor Blues Licks. In this video, I want to play an example solo of some minor blues licks, and then I'll break the solo down, showing each lick one by one. Lick one goes like this. So we're going to start by playing the uh, seventh fret of the G string and bending up. And then we're going to play the top E at the fifth fret and then the B string at the fifth fret. So, so far we have this. Then we're going to catch the B string at the eighth fret and slide up to the tenth. And then we're going to play the 8th fret of the top E string and bend that slightly sharp. So the whole lick slow goes like this. Now as a variation, I might play that slightly different and instead of playing top E and then B, I might play it the other way around and play B then top E. And the lick would then sound like this. So you can play it either way. Lick two goes like this. So we're starting at the 10th fret of the top E string. And we're bending up and then coming back down. And then coming off to the 8th fret of the top E. So, so far we have this. Then we're going to play... The 10th fret of the top E, the 10th fret of the B. So, so far we have this. Then we're going to play 8th on the top E, back to the 10th on the B. And then we're going to end by taking the 8th on the top E and just bending it slightly sharp. So the whole thing slow sounds like this. Lick 3 starts by taking the 8th fret of the B string and bending it a whole tone so it becomes the A note, which is the root note of our chord progression. Then we play 5 on a top E, back to 8 on the B. So, so far we have this. Now we're going to play, we're going to kind of anchor our index finger on the 5th fret and hammer on and pull off to the 8th fret and then play 7 on the on the G string so that little part goes like this and then back to the 5th on the B string so so far we have this one more time slower Then we're going to play the seventh on the on the G string, and we're going to play another hammer on a pull off. This time anchoring at the fifth fret of the G string to the seventh of the G string. So that part goes like this, and then we're going to play 
the seventh of the A string back to the fifth of the G string, finally ending on the seventh of the D string. So the whole thing slow goes like this. Lick four goes like this. So we start by sliding from the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the A string, then playing five hammer to seven, pull back on to the fifth fret of the of the D string. So so far we have this. Back to the seventh of the A string, then playing 5 to 7 on the D string, and then playing the G string and the B string together at the 5th fret, and then back to the 7th fret of the A string, before finally ending with the 5th uh, fret for the B and the top E string. So slowly, it goes like this. Lick five goes like this. So the lick starts by sliding 10 to 12 on the G string, then playing 10, 13 on the B string, then playing 10, 12 on the top E, back to 10 and hammer on and pull off on the top E. So, so far we have this. Next we play 13 on the B string, back to 12 on the G string, back to 10 on the on the B string to 13 on the B string up to 10 on the top E so the whole thing slow sounds like this so lick 6 is exactly the same as lick 5 except it's got one last note on the end which is the A note which is on the 10th fret of the B string. So the whole lick goes like this. And slow. Lick seven goes like this. So we're starting on the seventh fret of the G string and bending up and then coming back down. Then we're playing the fifth fret of the G string to the seventh fret of the D string. So slow, it goes like this. Lick eight goes like this. So, we start by sliding into the 5th fret of the B string and then hitting the 3rd fret of the top E. And then we slide again up to this time up to the 8th fret of the B string and hitting the 5th on a top E. Then we slide again this time up to the 10th fret of the B string and hitting the 8th on a top E. So, so far, we have this. Next, we're going to bend up and then back down on the 10th fret of the top E. And then we're going to come off to 8 on a top E before hitting the 10th fret of the B string. And then we're going to end by hitting the 8th fret of the top E and bending it slightly. So the whole lick slow sounds like this.
lick nine goes like this. <laughs> And what we're doing here is we're moving out from the A minor pentatonic scale and now we're going to outline an E7 chord. And you'll notice that we're playing the G sharp note which is at the 6th fret of the D string. And this note isn't part of the A minor pentatonic but it is part of the E7 arpeggio. So the lick goes like this. So we're sliding up to 7 on the A string, then hitting 6 on the D string, hitting 9 on the D string, then we're hitting 7 on the G string, then we're hitting 9 on the G string. Then we're hitting 9 on the G string and 9 on the B string again. Before coming back to 7 on the G string. Then we're playing 9 on the D string. 7 again on the G string. And finally ending on 9 on the G string. So slow it goes like this. So we've just outlined our E7 chord. So now we're going to outline the D minor chord. Lick 10 goes like this. So if you think about this in the shape of the D minor that you'd hold down there, we're starting on the 6th on the B string, coming off to 5 on the B string, then hitting 5 on the G string, and then 7 on the D string. So, so far we have this. And now we're going to slide from 5 to 7 on the G string and then back down from 7 to 5. So the whole lick slow goes like this. Lick 11 goes like this. What we're doing here is we're starting at the top E at the 5th fret, 8th fret, of the G string sliding down to 7, 5 on the G string to 7 on the D string. Lick 12 goes like this. So what we're doing here is we're sliding up to 9 on the G string, hitting 8 on the B string to 10 on the B string, 8 on the toppy to 10 on the toppy, and then we're going to do a hammer on and pull off from 10 to 11. So, so far we have this, and then we're going to pull off back to the 8 on the toppy. So, so far we have this. Then we're going to play 10 on the B string, back to 8 on the top E, before finally ending on the G string at the 9th fret. So the whole lick slow goes like this. So those are the licks, I hope you enjoyed this, if you liked the video please hit like, please hit subscribe and please check out my other videos, I'll see you again.